Hello from beautiful Edinburgh. My name is Jenny. Welcome to The Bear and the Fox. I'm back today with another roundup of our favourite picture books and there is some love in the air because today's theme is hugs. So let's get started. First up is a very recent addition to our library. It's called The Hug Machine by Scott Campbell and it's the cute cover illustration that caught my attention. Watch out for the hug machine. The hug machine is the very best at hugging. The hug machine's hugs cheer people up and calm people down. The hug machine hugs soft things, hard things, square things, long things. It even hugs things that seem too big or too spiky. There is nothing the hug machine won't hug. Who have you hugged today? Next up is a book my boys have actually grown out of, but I wanted to share with you anyway because it's so sweet and simple. It's just called Hug and it's by Jez Albra. This is a book of very few words. In fact, it gets by on mostly just the one word and you may have guessed that word is hug. The story follows Bobo the Chimp as he goes through the jungle and all the animals seem to have someone to cuddle with except him and he keeps getting sadder and sadder as he goes along. Will Bobo find somebody to hug? That is a question I will leave you to find the answer to. This is a book that is perfect for the very little ones and I think the illustrations are gorgeous too. Book number three is one from the library. It's called Slug Needs a Hug and it's by Jean Willis and Tony Ross. Slug is feeling sad because his mummy, there she is, won't give him a hug. So he goes on a quest to make himself more huggable with the help of some other animals. But will fur, a beak and wings give him the hugs he so longs for? There is a very sweet ending with Slug and his mummy at the end that will warm your heart. Next up, you can't do a roundup of hug related books without mentioning Hugless Douglas by David Melling. Douglas wants a hug. He tries hugging a stone, but it's too heavy. He tries hugging a tree, but he gets splinters. He scares off the sheep and he makes owl cross on his search for a hug. There is a very cross owl. Poor Douglas, will he have to remain hugless? Our local bookshop has a giant Douglas and my three-year-old loves to give him a hug. And finally, I've kept the best till last. This book is called Hug Me and it's by Simona Kiraola. Felipe comes from a family where you respect each other's space. You behave properly, look good and keep still. All Felipe wants though is a hug, but Felipe is a cactus. After a disastrous encounter with a balloon, Felipe becomes an outcast and leads a lonely existence on the edge of cactus society until he meets Camilla. A wonderful book that shows you can't choose your family but you can always find a friend and the illustrations are exquisite. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed today's episode please do like this video and you can also subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to check out the books in more detail I will pop the link to my blog in the notes below. If you'd like to leave a comment, maybe suggest some other hug related books for us to check out or if you'd like to suggest a theme for a future book roundup, please do and I will take that on board. And I will see you next time. Bye!